Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick tutorial on the culling system that I teach in the playbook just in case the video might be a little more helpful for you to just see how things are sorted into subfolders and all of that. So this is the inside of photo mechanic. I have my memory card plugged into the computer right now and I've already ingested my memory card. This wedding has actually already been culled, but I'm just going to open up the originals that were trashed for educational purposes right now. So if you did want to ingest the card, you would just go to File, Ingest, and this is where your ingest folder would come up. You would select your memory card, and then you would select your primary destination. So we want that to be the originals folder in our client folder. So here I have my client folder, so we're going to select originals and hit open. Then you're going to select your secondary destination, whether that is your desktop or a Drobo or something like that. And then we're going to rename the files. And then we would hit ingest. I'm just going to hit cancel since it's already done. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to sort. So you see I have all of the files in here. So that can be super overwhelming. So I am going to pick all of the groom prep pictures. So we're going to, actually these are groomsman pictures, so we're going to shift click to select all of the groomsman pictures and then I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to sort them into the groomsman folder. So now they're out of that main folder. And then I'm going to click here and sort all of these for bride prep folder. And then we're going to just continue doing that real quick. So these are all bride prep, or these are all bridesmaids, sorry. And then we're going to have some, let's see, let's do some bridles here. And you would do this for the whole gallery. I'm just obviously not going to do that so that we can speed up this video and not make it last forever. But we're going to put all the bridesmaids in here. So then I would sort through this whole thing. As you can see, that would be really overwhelming to call all that. So let's pretend that I have everything sorted into these folders over here. And then we're going to open up each folder. And now this makes it way, way, way less overwhelming to call. So I would double click to open it up. And mind you, again, this has already been culled, so these are actually the ones that got trashed, but let's just pretend that we are culling these for real. So I'm going to just go through really quick and pick which ones I want to keep. And good. Okay, so all the bridles are culled. So now I'm going to turn off all of the trash, which is gray. So we're going to see down here it says hide color class none, which means these don't have a color class. You could pick any color. So if I wanted to hide the pink, I would hit this button. So we're going to hide none. And this is going to give us just the pink ones, which are the ones we called. So I'm going to select all. And I'm also going to set the rating of photos to one star. So this transfers over into Lightroom. And then I'm going to toggle down this cult folder. And I would click and drag this into the bridles folder. So now you see they disappeared from the originals bridles subfolder and went into the culled bridles subfolder. So now if I open up the bridles, uh, you'll see all the ones that I culled. And again, I culled this before, so you're seeing the ones that I just culled up here, and you're also seeing the ones that I culled when I actually did this wedding. And then you can go in and do that for each section. So we also did some bridesmaids. So we can go in here. Obviously, we're not going to use that. We're just going to go in really quick and cull and choose which images are going to go in the gallery. So make sure everybody's eyes are open. Awesome. Everybody looks good. And perfect. So we're just going to go through these really quick. And that's good for the video. So then we're going to close that out. Hide the gray. Select all, go to image, set rating, one star. And I just like making them pink because it allows me to see what is culled at a glance. So it kind of lets me see how many pictures I picked and made sure I didn't go overboard. So I would select all and then move these into the cult folder over here under bridesmaids. So I would do that for all of the pictures. And then I would go in for round two, which is behind the scenes. So I actually don't know if I have any behind the scenes from this wedding. At least I wouldn't be able to find it super quickly. So 
we're just going to skip that part, but basically we can pretend this is a behind the scenes picture of me and not the groom. So I would just come in and I would select number two for any that are behind the scenes and it's going to make them red. And then I would, same thing, turn this off. And I actually didn't have a behind the scenes folder created, so you can just go into cold, hit new folder inside this folder and label it behind, actually, yeah, we can label it behind the scenes. And then I would click and drag all of these into the behind the scenes folder. So that would be round two. Again, pretend that was actually pictures of me shooting and not the groom and groomsman walking down the aisle. So after that, we're going to close out of phone and mechanics. So you would do that until you're done calling the whole wedding aisle new catalog and then we're going to create a catalog inside that client folder so this is Lyle and Tyler and then we're going to go into Lightroom again I've already created this but we would go in and create a new catalog and then hit create down here oh, I'm going to say Lyle and Tyler right sorry okay and then we're going to hit create sure we're going to back up our other session and it's going to close, and hopefully it's going to open. Okay, awesome. So after that, we're going to hit import, and then you're going to see over here, these are all the folders, so you need to toggle down here because it kind of comes up close, so we're going to just toggle down here, open my Lightroom folder, find the wedding, and then we're going to hit cold. Now we're going to just drop that down, and now you'll see all of these subfolders. So you have the behind the scenes, the details, bridles, everything that you just called and dragged over into the subfolder. So we're just going to select cold so that it gets every subfolder in here. And it says here we have 1,564 images selected. And then we're going to go over here, make sure it says standard previews, and then we're also going to click build smart previews. So then you would hit import. And then you're going to let all of those import. Let's just, for video's sake, import just three categories. So we're gonna import those. And then you'll see up here, these are going to start importing. And one thing I forgot to mention is that you're going to wanna hit add. So see up here, it says copy as DNG, that's the default. We actually don't wanna do that because then it's going to create a double file so we're going to hit add and that will keep them in their existing location on the hard drive without moving them so we're just going to hit cancel and then you'll see up here that it is building smart previews and building standard previews so once we have that we have this folder thing over here so we're just going to drop that down if you can't find your images and you are just looking under all photographs, you don't want that because you want to edit in your subfolder. So you're just going to toggle down where it says folders here, and then you'll be able to toggle down until you see all your folders. So we're going to go into bridal details, and the next step in the process is culling for the blog. So I like to cull for the blog in grid view because I think it goes a lot faster, and I'm going to use the number eight on my keyboard to go through all of these, and it's going to label them green. So these are all just images that I'm going to want to use in my blog post. So we're going to go through each section, scroll up, and you can pick you know, vertical images and horizontal images, and you don't have to blog every single one that you're picking right now. I like to give myself some options. And then we're going to go through every section and finish that out. So I'll go through bridles now. If it's people pictures, you might need to go full screen just so you can see whether their eyes are open or anything like that. And it's just rendering slow because my thing is still importing. But essentially, we're going to go through all of these and pick all the ones that we want for the blog. Get a bouquet shot in there for the vendors. And then we're going to go through and you're going to do that for your entire gallery. And then, after you have all of that done, let's just pick a couple of these, just so we have a bunch for the video. Oh, they're so pretty. This was in Key West. Oh, there's a behind the scenes picture. This was in Key West at the Ernest Hemingway House, and it was really awesome. Okay, perfect. So, now that we have all of our 
pictures called for the blog, we are going to hit this little green button down here. So I'm going to set all, and then we're going to hit this green button. So now it's only showing me the ones that I picked for the blog. So this is just how you sort your images. So we're going to have, this is going to show all of your cold blog pictures. So everything that you labeled green. So you would do this for the entire wedding. And then we're going to select all by hitting Command A or Control A if you're on a PC. And you're just going to hit three, which is going to make them all three star because that will be needed when we export. So then from there, you're going to start calling for your Facebook album. So your Facebook album is going to be four star. So anything that is really awesome can go on Facebook. I try to aim for about 50 images for my Facebook albums. So we're just going to go through and select oh, four star for all the ones that I want to go on Facebook. So I really like that shoe shot. So I'll take that a good shot of them looking at the camera and all of these gorgeous portraits can totally go on Facebook. So we're just going to go through all of them. And again, you're going through all your blog pictures. So normally there would be a lot more pictures than this, but I didn't want to waste video time importing photos. So we are going to then filter by four star. So you see now it says 12 of 285 photos are four star and green. So we still have green picked over here and four star over here. And then we're going to go through for our last round of culling and pick anything that we want to go in our portfolio. So these are going to be labeled five stars. So you can just use the five on your keyboard and pick all the ones that are going to go on your website or in your marketing materials, such as your wedding guide and stuff like that. So since we have such a small amount of pictures that we're working with right now, I picked a few and now you can see that we have these four selected. 